What's going on guys? Throws in a block back again. We're in the garage working on the 77 C10 pickup truck and I've got a driver's side door from an 84 model C10 that I'll be using to replace the door on the 77 due to the rust and the Bondo. So driver's side door wasn't too bad. Passenger side door was terrible. I just got a pair of doors. I actually had those. So uh, anyway, get this door panel out of the way. Gotta pull this. <laughs> gotta replace this rubber I think you know why because um, yeah it's uh, it's just crumbling to fall apart this is the rubber door or rubber slash window felt that goes inside the door channel um, yeah it's uh, <laughs> yeah it's seen better days fun fact for you guys this 84 model door is as old as I am, so at least I'm not cracking and falling apart. <laughs> at least not yet. Anyway, so removing your door panels on your C10, uh, I've got this little pick. I picked this up at Harbor Freight, and the reason I'm using this is because there's dirt and debris trapped in there where these screws are at. So I just use this to get the dirt out of the screw slots. That just keeps you from stripping out a screw. It makes it a little bit easier to get things out. So I work that in there. So Phillips screwdriver is required to take off the door panel. You also need a C-clip removal tool. Or you can use a flat blade screwdriver or this pick I have in my hand if you're really good. Me, I've got the proper tool on the shelf. Let me go grab that. We'll get this door handle off. Right. <laughs> we'll get this window crank off. This is the window crank tool. This little U-shaped groove here, you slide that under the handle and it pops that U-shaped clip off. Um, so I've got several of these and the reason why is, like I stated earlier, I'm as old as this door. So when I first started driving, cars had power windows, but that was a nice idea. It wasn't like standard equipment, which is pretty much standard equipment now. Uh, so you had to know how to use one of these things because these plastic handles... Especially on like the Chevy Cavaliers and all the Econo boxes, the Corolla for instance, uh, these would break a lot and you would have to know how to get the what was left of the old one off because usually the handle broke up here, the knob was broke in the middle and then you were left with um, an inoperable window or you had to do the finger trick, you know, where you take your finger and slide it around and yeah, all that kind of stuff. So anyway, I just noticed that this handle had quite a bit of play in it. Um, which it might remain that way as long as there's nothing seriously broken. So you slide the clip under, like the clip removal tool, like so. See there, it's underneath that handle. And you can actually rotate the handle around. Um, now, the proper way to install these clips, I usually install them on the back side going this way. Um, so you could slide this under, push it right back off. I'm not sure where this one is. Well, that's interesting. I don't see a clip on this door at all. And yet the handle will come off. Ah, there we go. Okay, funny story. There's no clip on here, so I couldn't get it off. So there's a U-shaped clip that's supposed to go on these things. Um, it wasn't on there. I just uh, was trying to remove the invisible clip. So anyway, I guess that off. Go around here, pull these Phillips screws out. Uh, this is an 84 panel, so there's one here with the handle. Two, three, four, five, six. And then there's two down here for removing the handle. Um, it's supposed to be a bolt, a 3 8 I believe, or a 5 16 This one's got a flathead at this end and a 5 16 at this end. Um, so. I think you have to remove the handle to get the door panel off. I don't remember exactly. So we'll pull the perimeter screw and see if it comes off. If it doesn't, we'll pull the handle as well. I strongly recommend you buy Speedy Coat products. Um, I like Speedy Coat. But actually, the, the reason I'm bringing this up is the storage. So this is a box that contained uh, some clear coat. I think there were three quarts of clear and there are two quarts of clear and some activator or something like that in here. But these boxes are broken up into sections which works great for breaking down your vehicle parts when you're doing restoration work or repair. 
Um, so this is a large box and it has two smaller boxes inside, like so. So what I'll do is mark these smaller boxes, driver's side door, passenger side door, and then the outside of this box will say doors. So then I have everything I need in one location uh, and I don't lose it because you've seen the shop and you, you know the deal. Make sure you remove your door plunger for your light, look at that, your lock. Lift up on the bottom, we're going to slide it this way, so we can get her up off here without breaking anything. That's the critical part, without breaking anything. in good shape. Heck yeah, that's great. All right, inside door panel looks good. Actually, it doesn't look too bad at all. Felt's in good shape. It's got a little split right there, but we're probably not gonna mess with that. I'll repaint the door panel after I clean it up real good. It's got a bunch of grease on here from where they're on the construction side or job site working. Transfer it down the armrest on the side there. And you can see the grease here where they rubbed their hands, you know, cranking the window around. And the hand resting there at the window at the bottom, I guess. So we'll get it cleaned up. Get all those years of, yeah, off of there. And then we'll give it a fresh coat of paint. If you have help to move one of these doors, I highly recommend you get help. I wonder if old Krusty's going to come out of there. You can see the old valley impalement company out of arkansas there i'm gonna take his mirror off so that's gonna wrap it up for this video in our next video we're gonna continue disassembly and get ready for body work on the 77 c10 my name is erwin this three was in a block we're giving back what time has taken away we'll see you soon